Hello friends, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to convert a decimal number into an octal number. Let us look at the problem statement. Given a decimal number as input, we need to write a program to convert the given decimal number into equivalent octal number. That is, convert the number with base value 10 to base value 8. The base value of a number system determines the number of digits used to represent a numeric value. For example, the binary number uses two digits, 0 and 1. Octal number system uses eight digits from 0 to 7. And decimal number system uses 10 digits from 0 to 9 to represent any numeric value. Now let us look at the algorithm. Step number one, store the remainder when the number is divided by eight in an array. Step number 2. Divide the number by 8. Step number 3. Repeat the above two steps until the number is not equal to 0. Step number 4. Reprint the array in reverse order. Let us understand this with an example. Suppose the decimal number is 33. Step number 1. We store the remainder that is obtained when 33 is divided by 8 into the array, that is 1. Now step number 2. We divide 33 by 8, which gives 4. As the number is not 0, we continue this step. 4 divided by 8 will give quotient 0 and remainder is stored in the array which is 4. Now as the number is 0, we print the array in reverse order. Therefore, its octal equivalent will be 41. Now let us look at the code. In the function decimal to octal, we have passed a decimal number and it prints its octal equivalent. Octal number is an array to store the octal number. We initialize a counter i with 0. Now we run a while loop until n is not equals to 0. First of all, we will find the remainder of n when it is divided by 8 and store it into the ith position of the octal number array. Then we will actually divide the number by 8 and increase i by 1. These three steps will happen until n is not equals to 0. In the end, we will print the octal number array in reverse order. Let us see this with an example. Let the decimal number be 33. Initially, the octal number array will be empty and the value of i will be initialized with 0. As the value of n is not equal to 0, we enter the while loop. We store the remainder of n when divided by 8 into the octal number array. That is, 33 divided by 8 gives us 1 and we store it in the ith position of the octal number array. Now, n will be divided by 8, that is, 33 divided by 8 gives us 4 and we increase the value of i by 1. As the value of n is still not equal to 0, we continue the while loop. Again, n modulus 8, that is 4 modulus 8, will give us 4 and we store it in the octal number array. Now we divide 4 by 8, which gives us 0, and we increase the value of i by 1 to 2. Now, as the value of n is equal to 0, we exit the while loop and print the octal number array in reverse order, that is 41. I hope you understood the code. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your comments.